You definitely don't want to miss out. This is going to be a good one. It's about to get nasty. How many likes will it take for me to eat that? I'm going to show you guys another trick that I use. That is nasty. This all-in-one filter. Oh, these look pretty clean. And how I get Tiki Falls so crystal clear? As you can see, the waterfall here will slowly die down. Oh, look at that beautiful hibiscus. Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy, the Hawaiian fish keeper. Now, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Behind me is Tiki Falls. This is a pond that I built, and um, you know, we just did an addition. Now, originally, it was just this loop or this circle right here, but I actually made a little channel, and now we have an extension of the pond and everybody's doing great now i get a lot of questions down in the comments asking me about my filtration on this pond do i just have one waterfall spillway or what type of filtration do i run on tiki falls where we're going to get into it i have a total of six filters what i got three waterfall spillways which are filters and then i also have one two three box filters that are inside the pond too as well that right there is an all-in-one filter that has your mechanical filtration which is a sponge and then underneath the sponge is all your biological media and then you have a uv sterilizer inside that so the obviously there's a pump in there too as well that's pumping the water down it passes through that little vent or that grid and then it exits out the hose and the hose runs all the way up all the way through the rocks through the waterfall spillway now inside that waterfall spillway there's also mechanical filtration which is a big mat and then it passes through another huge bag of biological media now from this section of the pond we're going to go through the canal and we're going to come to this side of the pond which i have another all-in-one box filter this is called an all-in-one it's the same as that one that one's a little bit smaller though okay so this one here exact same thing pumps out hose runs all the way up through the rocks underneath the tiki head to that waterfall spillway which i converted into a filter so we got sponge media we also have biological media inside that as well now if you look just to the right you'll see another box filter that right there that's another box filter it's not an all-in-one but it does have a pump down inside the box as well as sponges and biological media and you can see the hose where it runs and it runs up the side underneath the rocks all the way up to the top of that waterfall spillway up there which i converted into a filter which also has sponge and biological media so as you can see there is a total of six filters on tiki falls 3.0 i've been getting a lot of messages on actually this all-in-one filter you know to have a nice beautiful pond like tiki falls you got to have good filtration and not only that though you have to take care of your pond too you know it's a it's just like gardening. You know, you want a nice garden, you have to take care of it. It's not just like a, hey, a one-time thing and the garden's gonna just stay great and looking great and looking healthy. You have to do the work, right? So this is very therapeutic for me. These guys think that I'm feeding them, they keep following me. Now this one here in particular, I haven't cleaned in about three months. I'm not even gonna lie to you. So we're gonna take a look at it. We're gonna open it up. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to clean the all-in-one filter. And if you guys are interested in it, I'll leave a link down in the description below. It's an awesome filter. You definitely don't wanna miss out. This is gonna be a good one. You gonna learn today. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is I like to start off by getting two buckets and filling them full of pond water. Um, one of the buckets I use to clean the mechanical filtration, which is all the sponges, and then the other bucket I use to clean all the biological media, which is, um, well, you'll see what it is. It's pretty cool. So we're going to get bucket number one, get some water out of the pond. Bucket number two. Okay, so the next thing I like to have are gloves. Now, the gloves that I use have this rubber grip side to it. So just so you know, get the ones that have a rubber grip side. You're gonna need a grip, because what I like to do is detach the hose while it's in the pond. And in order to get a good grip on that hose, like connector, um, you need some gloves with this rubber grip because it gets really slippery because of uh, algae or just it being under the water, you know, it has like a little coating on it. it kind of gets slippery, so it's really hard to use your fingers. So let's go ahead and turn off our filter by unplugging it first 
and then we're gonna go ahead and detach the hose. I'll show you. We're gonna go up to our extension here and we're gonna unplug this side. As you can see, the waterfall here will slowly die down because we just unplugged it. And so now we know we can actually detach the hose from this all-in-one filter. And that's where we're gonna detach it, right down there at the base. All right, I'm gonna show you guys another trick that I use. You see this? This big thick pad here, or mat, whatever you wanna call it. Hey, as you get older, your knees will love you for using this. And if you have a pawn, I, I suggest you invest on getting one of these because you're constantly bending down on the knees. Why drill your knees into the rocks and the concrete when you can have a nice pad for your knees? Okay, so kneel down here. We're getting down and getting dirty. When you actually add this filter into your pond, make sure that you give yourself enough slack, not only in your electrical cord, but also in your hose, so you're not trying to pull it out of the pond and there's no slack to give, you know? That's just another tip for you guys. Let's open up this beauty. So this is where it's about to get nasty. This thing is extremely heavy when it's full because it's got a ton of water in it. So, I'm going to open it up over here on the rocks. And as you can see, we just got like these little briefcase style of latches on each side. One here, one there. And then we're gonna slowly open it up. Oh, what the hell is that? M G easy. Now, would you look at that? Let me show you. Uh huh. Uh huh. What the hell is it? How many likes will it take for me to eat that? You guys tell me down in the comments below. Oh my gosh. So underneath all of this filth, there is a sponge. As you can see, this is our pump. And right there is our UV sterilizer. Now you understand why I have two separate buckets because this sponge is gnarly look at this cake now this is look you can see a little piece of the sponge this is three months oh without cleaning it as you can see all the components but look at this Ugh, that is nasty so we're going to go ahead and put it in there and just so you guys know there are replacement sponges so if something happens to the sponge they do sell replacement sponges but that is gnarly we're gonna leave that in set this on the side and then we're gonna take out all of our biological media and we're gonna start to rinse that in our other bucket now you can see all the components you can see the UV sterilizer the pump and there's one two three cartridges of biological media now each one has these little handles here mm. they kind of sit in there there's like um see those little squares they line up with squares down in there so they kind of stay put but anyways we're gonna take these out and clean them off in here by just shaking them this is how I clean it I usually pound it against the bucket and all that muck will get loose maybe pound it down low so as you can see it's starting to get a little loose this is some pumice stone that's in this little um, container and all the biological media comes with it just so you know loosen up that muck that's in there it really works to just pound it at the bottom look at that see that it's already getting clean look at that a lot of surface area so what I do is I kind of dip it in this you can see all that muck kind of just float away and I give it a little swishy swish See that? Kind of move it around with your thumb, disturb it a little bit. There we go. So as you can see, it's got a little lip here. So we got to kind of clear this area in the middle so it could close properly. Let's see if that works. Grab this and close it. Look at that. Just snaps in and we cleaned our first box. Always keep your hand on it on the top because you don't want this to accidentally just open up, you know? The bottom you don't have to worry about. 
So you got two boxes of pumice stone. Boom, boom. That's two. We'll stick that over there. Oh, God. And we have this third one here, which is plastic rings inside it. Super light and super gunky. Look at that. Ugh. All right, let's do our thing. I'm going to pop this open too as well. The thing with these are when you go to rinse these off, they float. So just keep that in mind when you open this up and you um, put water in it. You may lose them. Not lose them literally, but oh, these look pretty clean. With that rinse. Oh, that looks good. I don't even think I have to give them another rinse, but let me show you what I mean. See how they float? They'll just come, they'll come right out of that box. So give it a couple dips. All right. I can't remember who it was, but somebody asked if I could do a video on cleaning the all-in-one pond filter. And I say, yeah, no problem. That's a great idea. So we got our clean boxes here. Ugh. Now we're going to clean this out. You know how I clean this? I just clean this with a hose. I shoot it down, get all that gunk out of it. You'll see this clean in three, two, one. Voila! Just like that, this bad boy is clean. Now let me show you something. On the front side here, you'll get algae and all kind of buildup going on. Uh, what I did was I used my fingernail and just kind of scraped all the algae and whatever that was blocking this, this right here is gonna indicate your UV sterilizer is working. It actually glows blue. So while this is on here like this, you'll see the blue light at night is the best way to uh, make sure it's working. Now, if it's not working, that means you gotta replace the bulb in the UV sterilizer, which they also sell too online. So you don't have to worry about parts. They have the parts for everything to this filter. So let's go ahead and reapply. This is the pumice stone that just lines up with that box and it just snaps into place. And we have pumice stone here. So we go box here, box there. There's these little handles on it right here to pull them up and to push them down. And then we have plastic rings, which we'll put there like that. And there you go, look at that. Oh, but I forgot one more thing. Dun, 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 the nasty sponge. Oh gosh, man. I'm even thinking about just shooting it down with the hose. We got a nice clean spot here on the concrete that we're gonna lay the mat on. Oh gosh, look at this. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh, look at that. All right, let's just lay that right there. Yeah. And there we go. Oh my gosh, there's a blue sponge. Look at that. Underneath all that muck. It's so satisfying too. Look at that. I don't know about you, but this feels like a Tetris. You remember that game Tetris? This is what you call a pawn Tetris right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And this is on jet setting, so you know. See that? Jet setting. And I'm killing all that beneficial bacteria in the sponge. The only reason why I'm doing it this way, guys, is because I have a ton of beneficial bacteria um, in the filter, or I should say in the filters, and I'm not cleaning all the sponges, or I'm not cleaning all the box filters, just this one. Flip this over. Ew. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's like the perfect outline of all the components in the filter. You saw how caked on this... Um, you know, sponge was, it was really caked on with all kinds of gunk. The filter was still running really strong, even though it had all that gunk to pass through. The uh, waterfall spillway was actually still doing its work, putting out a lot of water. So uh, it just shows you how strong the, the pump is. I believe it's like a, I want to say 720, 730 gallons per hour pump that's in that um, filter. So let's go ahead and put this back. You can see the holes there, it just slips on. You grab your cover, line the holes up. Bingo, bango, snap, snap. It's like a briefcase, like I said. There we go, snap and snap. Now we're just gonna reattach the uh, pond hose right here. Just goes right on top and you just screw it in by hand, baby. See that? Like I said, it's good to have those rubber gloves because this gets a little slippery right in here, like I said, the algae, but uh, this kind of swivels, so all we do is just bingo bango, tighten that down, 
holds that pawn hose there, and we're done. And now we're just gonna lay this back down in its spot. Let it fill up with water, and let it slowly sink to the bottom, right in the spot that you had it. All right, so before we actually plug in the filter and get that up and going, don't forget about the two buckets of goodness, meaning that gunky, nasty pond water that we cleaned uh, all the biological media with and some of the sponge. That water, my friends, is full of vitamins and minerals for your plants. If you have a vegetarian garden. Bro, what are you talking about, man? A vegetable garden, I meant vegetarian garden. Anyways, so, um, or any type of plants, flowers, like all this planters, all my plants, I'm gonna dump all that water in there. It's so good for your plants. That right there, my friends, is a natural fertilizer. We're gonna pour some of it in here. Oh yeah, grow, baby. Put on top of this sago palm. We can't forget you. This is my asparagus plant, love it. Very prehistoric looking, love the color. And then we're gonna give the yellow canna some love. Yes, don't forget, I know, I see you girl. You guys talk to your plants too? Comment down below if you guys talk to your plants too. Or is it just me? Am I just crazy like that? Oh yeah, look at, let's get the gardenia, yeah. One of my favorite plants. This right here reminds me of my grandma. There you go. Oh, look at that. Who's going to get that goodness? Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Let's give a little bit to the purple heart. My purple heart plant is taking off. Shout out to Dennis. Thanks, Brada. It's looking great. Oh, gosh. Yeah, look at that purple heart. It's taking off. I love it. So as you can see, nothing goes to waste when you own a pond. Not even the fish poo water. Let's plug her in. All right, here we go. Ah, oh, there we go. The nice sound of a serene waterfall so after that i like to top the water off you know and we're going to pump in a couple pumps of aquascape maintain for ponds secret recipe right here guys each pump is a hundred gallons so we're going to pump two in there that should be quite okay because we're not putting in that much water so let me read the back of this and tell you what it does maintain for ponds reduces maintenance and helps maintain optimum water quality by combining our most effective treatments into one powerful treatment. The formulation includes a beneficial bacteria blend, phosphate binder, and flocculent, I think that word is flocculent, and detoxifier, resulting in a healthy crystal clear and maintenance free pond, crystal clear. So you guys wonder why and how I get Tiki Falls so crystal clear? I'm telling you this stuff, I believe in it. Now, uh, one squirt, 100 gallons. Not only that though, but it also says it's safe for fish and plants. If it gets really cold, don't even use this because you'll just kill off the beneficial bacteria because of the water being too cold. But on top of that, they do have a beneficial bacteria blend for the winter and for cold water. So look into that. Aquascape, they carry all the products. So this would probably be good for like fall, spring, summer, and then they have a winter beneficial bacteria that you can actually use during the winter time. So that's my secret. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Those of you that requested uh, a video of me cleaning the all-in-one filter, I hope you learned a little bit more in detail about the filter. It's a great filter. As you can see, it really didn't like take that long to clean it. Um, but not only that though, I've had that in particular um, all-in-one filter for about two years. Uh, UV sterilizer uh, bulb still it works. Everything is flawless as you saw the sponge it's not like beat up or anything like that pump still works on it and everything so yeah it's a great filter guys i'll leave the link down in the description below i really wanted to make sure that when i had this pond or when i was doing the pond i wanted to really over filter this bad boy i really appreciate all the support the love and i'm so happy that i could actually make these videos and produce this content for you guys to learn from my mistakes and uh, learn from my uh, triumphs too as well. Other than that, I'll see you guys on the next video. Much love and aloha.